Let's take a look at practice question set number 20. Uh, we have some information here about a Nicholson type experiment. Um, I mean, really, this is, this is pretty much exactly what Nicholson used, right? With the exception of the distance, he used, Nicholson used 35 kilometers, this is 30 kilometers. Um, these numbers are pretty typical numbers, the numbers close to what Nicholson used. So when we get an answer here, we should expect one of those standard answers, right, in the ranges that we expect. Now, um, there's a lot of times when I tell you, oh, you should expect to get an answer in this range for whatever, and it's, it's hard to remember all of those, right? Um, if you don't remember that, that's okay. It just means you don't have the little check that we sometimes have if you remember those ranges. So don't panic about that. Um, we're looking for, in this question, a frequency. I would expect to get somewhere 5, 6, 7, 800. I would expect 10 to the 2 hertz for this, okay, because we have fairly standard numbers, which means that probably A is going to be our answer there. But let's just double check that just to make sure, okay, just to make sure that I'm not missing something here. What do we always do? What do we always start with in one of these questions? <coughs> Every single time, yeah? V equals D over T, and good, T is equal to 1 over F. Every single time, no exceptions to that. Little T stands for, in this case, Quinn, the time for? Good. The time for 1 eighth of a rotation, and big T stands for? Good. It's the period, it's the time for one complete rotation, right? Make sense? So far, so good? All right, let's sub our numbers in. Um, the speed of light, we're looking for frequency. The speed of light, we have to assume the accepted value of 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Do we know what D is? Shelly, do we know what D is? So 60 kilometers, which we want to convert to meters, so it's going to be 60,000 meters. Good. Uh, divided by T 1 eighth. All right, look, we're able to find T 1 eighth right away here. 60,000 divided by 3 times 10 to the 8, I think, is going to work out to be 2.00. Is that times 10 to the minus 4? I didn't do a lightning fast calculation in my head there. You know what I did? Sorry? Well, I did 6 divided by 3, yes, yeah. But as far as the exponent goes, the exponent is almost always 10 to the minus 4. Okay, and I know I've done this way more times than you, so I'm more likely to remember that than you guys, but um, you're going to do the calculation on your calculator, and if you happen to remember that that's the most common exponent that we get for little t, um, and you get that, then great. It means you're probably right. All right, what am I going to do with that? The team time for 1 eighth of a rotation. It's not what I want. It's never what I want, right? Whatever I solve for is going to use it to get something else. I want big T. Got little T, want big T. What am I going to do, Nathan, to get big T? Times of 8, good. So big T would be 1.6 times 10 to the minus 3 seconds. Now I'm going to sub that in up here. 1.6 times 10 to the minus 3 seconds equals 1 over the frequency. Um, the frequency goes up, the 1.6 goes down. 1 over 1.6 ends up being, I think it's 625. That's hertz, but revolutions per second, rotations really it should be, per second is the uh, is, uh, same thing as hertz, right? So my answer is indeed A there. You know how many people got A for that? How many people kind of thought when they looked at it, it's like, oh, I think it's A, just based on the numbers there. Anybody kind of catch that? No? All right, th that's fine. Okay, yeah, that's fine. In the end, I would want you to do it anyways, even if you thought the answer was going to be A, right? All right, number two uh, talks about evidence of two planets orbiting a pulsar neutron. Uh, the star emits radio waves that are detected 305 meter diameter radio telescope. Okay, what's the difference between, okay, what's the difference between radio waves and visible light? Well, they should both be reflected, right? Or they can both travel through a vacuum because they're both EMR. Well, no, they both travel at the same speed, right? 
Well, it must be D, but let's just double check that. Um, radio waves, invisible light. Whoops, what am I doing there? Radio waves, microwaves, uh, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, X rays, and gamma rays. Um, we would say that radio waves have a lower frequency than visible light or a higher wavelength than visible light. So D is, in fact, our answer there. Radio waves from space longer than one tenth the diameter of the radio telescope are undetectable. What's the approximate lower limit of the frequency? Um, the diameter of this telescope was 305 meters. So we're going to say the wavelength here is what? If the diameter is 305 and wavelengths that are less than one tenth the diameter are undetectable, we're going to say the wavelength is 30.5, one tenth, right? Um, we're looking for the frequency. Uh oh. How do you get frequency from lambda? One over lambda? Is that right? Yeah, it's V over lambda, right? Don't get it mixed up with frequency and uh, period. We're going to say V is equal to F times lambda. F is equal to V over lambda. What's the speed there? Laura, what's the speed since you gave me that equation? Yep. 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second divided by 30.5 meters. I'm going to say, I want to say it's C. Does it work out to be C? 9.8 times 10 to the 6 hertz. What kind of EMR would that be, by the way? Well, they tell me it's radio waves, right? But we would know that it's radio waves anyways because microwaves are 10 to the 9 to 10 to the 12, and this is 10 to the 6. So clearly it's got to be radio waves. Besides the fact that they tell me it's radio waves. Uh, which of the following types of EMR has the longest period? Oh, okay, good question there. We rank these in terms of frequency, wavelength, and energy, not in terms of period, though. Radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, X-rays, and gamma rays. What's period related to? What variable is period related to? the variable that we're familiar with. What is it? Frequency. In fact, the period is 1 over the frequency. So if we're ranking them from lowest frequency to highest frequency, if we were ranking them in terms of period, what would it be? Down here would be Kira? That would be the high period, right? And this would be a low period because period and frequency are inversely related, just like wavelength and frequency are. So which of the following has the longest period, the biggest period? Uh, would be radio waves. Smallest frequency, biggest period. Five, man, it just keeps going here. An ice rink is lit by bluish light with this wavelength. What's the period? Well, period is 1 over frequency. Oh, but we don't know what the frequency is. We could find that, right? Frequency is V over lambda. What's the speed there? Right, what's the speed? Yeah, 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. And that's, listen, you guys are probably remembering that number by now, right? Probably got that in your brain now. But if you don't remember it, where are you going to find it? On the data sheet, yeah. Uh, 500... What's a nanometer? That's on your data sheet too, right? 500 times 10 to the... Good. So be careful here. Don't make it 5 times 10 to the minus 9. It's not 5 nanometers. It's 500 nanometers. 500 times 10 to the minus 9. Uh, I'm going to figure that out on the calculator here. 3 times 10 to the 8 divided by 500 times 10 to the minus 9. 6 times 10 to the 14. Oh, you know what? I'm reading through this again in my mind here. I should have got that. 3 divided by 5 is 0.6, right? I should have known the frequency was 10 to the 14. 
How should I have known the frequency was 10 to the 14? It's, it's visible light. It's bluish light, right? Um, so, so it had to be something times 10 to the 14, right? Of course, on a quiz or a test, I'm still going to use my calculator for that, right? Even if I am able to, to get that number by logic, right? I'm still going to use my calculator just to make sure. All right, now we're going to say t is equal to 1 over 6 times 10 to the 14. Let's just flip that over. x to the minus 1 gives me 1 1.6 times 10 to the negative 15. So my answer is, my answer is A. And I think this is the last one, isn't it? Yep. An explosion that produces a flash of light occurs at a distance of 6.06 .06 kilometers from a group of people. The minimum possible time that before the people can see it is what? Don't make this harder than it has to be. T goes up by multiplying. V goes down by dividing. We got 6.06 .06 times 10 to the 3 meters. Or you could say 6,060 would work. Divided by V. V. Dawson, what's V there? Good, 3 times 10 to the 8. So 2 point something, 6.06 .06 times 10 to the 3. Remember to use that EE button on your calculator, right? Not, not that times 10 to the hat thing. 3 EE 8, 2.02 times 10 to the minus 5. Notice what it says up here, 8 is BC times 10 to the negative D. You get a positive exponent there. Okay, Shailen, if you mix those up and divide those the other way, you're going to get a positive exponent, right? So they're telling you in that case that you got it wrong, right? So um, pay attention to little things like that, right? Hopefully we don't make the mistake, but if we do, then they're telling us that we made the mistake. All right, A, B, C, D, this is going to be 202. 5, 2025.